Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Tip Top. So first, I want to say this set is definitely a picture recreation set from Ty Barbie. Um, well, did she change her name? I think she changed her name to Ty Beauty. But y'all already know she's here on YouTube and she does an amazing job. So if y'all not subscribed, definitely go subscribe. For my tips, I'm using my Rissa Didim tips, and yes, she is on YouTube. If you're not subscribed, go subscribe to my friend, my home girl. Her name is Rissa Didim, R-I-S-S-A Didim, period. So make sure y'all go do that and go support my girl. So she's getting these very long. I don't think we probably cut like a little bit off, but nothing for real. So we pretty much kept the full length of them and... We went with this color, which I actually forgot I had, to be honest. And I really don't have much of it left. I need to go rebuy it. But it's Glam and Glitz, the Color Blend Collection in Medium Ivory. So, and I am capping this with clear so I can try to save more of the color. Because like I said, I was running out. I'm pretty sure y'all can see the bottom of the container. Because your girl was had that thing tilted to the side, like scooping, really scooping. And y'all see how long these nails are. So, I was definitely using clear to build up the structure. Because otherwise, I wouldn't have finished this set. Like, I really didn't have much left, y'all, for real. And I'm using my Not Polished Monomer. You can use code tip top and I'm also using my size 12 brush from Not Polish. Um, I already did my whole prep system. Y'all already know what that is. If you don't, you can watch plenty of my old videos because I do the same prep every single time. Okay? Literally every single time. And my clear is um, Not Polish as well. So yeah, get into it. Um... In top, I'm going to insert a picture of Ty's set so y'all can see what it looks like. And I hope I'm saying her name right because y'all know I'm bad with names, child. I don't, I don't really, like I know the name when I see it, but I really don't be knowing how to pronounce it for real. So, yeah. But I'm going to insert a picture. We decided to switch it up a little bit and do like different type of faces. But y'all going to see that at the end. First of all, let's just get into this application is it weird that I find nails this length easier to do sometimes? Like, I really just be laying that acrylic on there, let it do its thing, let it flow, let it just drip. And I just be having the easiest time ever with my application, except for when they turn their hand to the side like that. <laughs> and I be having to turn it back. But other than that, sometimes I feel like these nails for me are the easiest to do. I just don't know. And then square nails, I feel like, are easier to do anyway. Because you can't go wrong, really. Not for real. So, yeah. I, I really love the application. Y'all, look. This is just application. Please put some respect on my name, okay? I am really that girl. That girl, for real. No, I'm just playing. This took a lot of practice, y'all. Like, for real. And this is after I shaped and filed them. My favorite part. Look at that. Y'all know I ain't never scared to show y'all my nails from the side. Because what side profile don't decline ever. Mm. So, I'm going to show y'all all the colors I'm using. I gel mostly. Get into it. Get into it real quick. This chocolate color must have. It's so pretty. I used it today. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And if y'all don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram because nine times out of ten, you'll see the sit there before I post it on YouTube because it be taking me forever to post on YouTube because I have to be in a good mood to do the voiceover part. Otherwise, I don't want to do the voiceover. So if you notice, I record, I mean, not record, I'll upload a video and it doesn't have voiceover on it. Nine times out of ten, like, it was a video I just needed to post and i didn't feel like talking that day so i was just like but i still need to post so i had to give y'all something very much something and i did end up using 
one of these colors this color i got in my hand that's over there i didn't end up using that on its own because it just looked way too similar to the base color already so yeah and right now i'm mixing up like this mauvey brown color because that's the kind of color ty had used in one of her smiley faces so i'm like i'm gonna try to make that in that idea because what we know color theory over here period and i also mixed that lightest igl color with some white just so we can have some dimension going on you know so the boom boom i ain't even got to insert the picture i just showed y'all look at me thinking ahead mm. so yeah and then i didn't have to do much fouling on this set because my application was literally tip top it was literally tip top and i'm so proud of myself because some days i really just be messing up sometimes y'all and i just get in my head and get one of those moves where i'm down in my work and i'm doubting myself and then be times like this where i just look at look back and just be like girl you are overthinking these nails look totally fine y'all but y'all know we be our worst critics but i'm just here to let y'all know no i do not think i'm the goat no i do not think i'm the best no i do not think that i'm just a beast at what i do every single day every time of the day sometimes i do mess up but i'm just letting y'all know that i do be overthinking sometimes like sometimes that, but that's because i'm a perfectionist i like stuff to match i like stuff to go together i love stuff to be perfect because what we don't want no problems i'd rather be safe than who sorry okay but yeah, I'm just using my dotting tool to do these things because I just feel like a brush would just be too much to just deal with. So, dotting tool it is, and it worked out. I did have to like just scoop up polish. Y'all know how dotting tools be. But I feel like when it comes to a circle, oh, a dotting tool is going to do it every single time. And then I didn't make all of the circles perfect. As you can see, boom. And... I was trying not to worry about them being super just perfect because I knew one, I was going to have to outline them. And then two, I feel like it looked better if they weren't perfect, but I kept trying to make them perfect because I'm a perfectionist. Ugh. And then I had to also remember to leave space for the chrome smiley faces, which I almost forgot about. Don't tell my client that though. But yeah, I definitely almost forgot. So, and then normally I like to plan stuff out. I did not plan out where I was going to put these smiley faces. And that's low-key bothering me because I'm a planner. But I was like, let me just do this. This set is already finna take a, like a good little mini. Let me just throw it on here. If I was to do like my normal thing, I would have planned out where I was going to put the chrome smiley faces at first and then worked around it but mm, i just i guess i was just winking it this day because sometimes i will say whenever i think too hard about something especially freestyle if i think too hard about what i'm gonna do i i'm definitely messing up 10 times 10 times out of 10 i'm gonna mess up so i just went ahead and just did it okay now one thing I would say about these eye gel colors. Now, I don't know if it's just because the colors I'm using, but they are giving very much one coat. Like, I was surprised. It's definitely giving one coat for the eye gel. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. <music> What y'all saw me put on the nails before I started drawing was Young Nails Protein Bun. And if you have trouble drawing stuff on the acrylic and the lines are just super blurry, they're spreading out all in the cracks and stuff, I use Protein Bun and then draw on top of the nails because you definitely will not have that problem. Their problem is, I mean, their, their polish is going to stay exactly where you put it. So, if you feel like your lines are spreading out too much or bleeding too much, try putting protein bun down or even a base gel before you start drawing. Now, the problem with that, with this set was I needed to use the chrome and I didn't want the chrome to stick anywhere else other than where I'm putting this 
transfer a jail. Well, okay, y'all. Let me, I messed up. I messed up, okay? One, I put this gel on way too thick. As you can see, especially with that first one I just did, it's pretty much a glob. And y'all know, polish do not like to cure all the way through if you put it on too thick and yeah i definitely put it on too thick and as you can see boom what do we have bubbles dips divots cracks just a hot mess and i'm feeling at it i'm like hmm if i put the chrome on it maybe you won't be able to tell but nope as soon as i put the chrome on it child it made it even more obvious so I had to troubleshoot, of course, because at this point, I'm like, bro, this cannot be happening right now. I'm so ready to be done with this set. Like, no, this cannot be happening. But it was indeed happening. Two, I don't really know how to... I haven't used Chrome in so long, y'all. So I couldn't even remember the old process I used to use. But I decided to use Transfer Gel because I'm like, well, I wouldn't have no problem with it sticking to Transfer Gel. It's literally going to stick. But... I can't remember or can't I don't know how to really use chrome no more for real there I'm just gonna say it so I was just like oh I'm gonna have to buff this off put another thin layer and then just try it again um and then also y'all please help me in the comments like for real help me when y'all do chrome sets how do y'all get the chrome to not stick to everything else and as y'all can see i wiped the nail off really good with alcohol and acetone like so i don't really know how to not get the chrome to stick um to not stick because i've seen videos of people do french nails with chrome powder and they'll completely wipe the nail with an alcohol pad and the chrome will not come off it won't come off the part they wanted to stay on right but it'll come off the parts they not trying to get it to stick to if y'all get where i'm going with this so what do y'all use for y'all chrome and how can i because you know sometimes you have to clean up around it and then you end up taking some of the chrome off of the design like y'all y'all know what i'm asking please tell me in the comments but so right now i'm just putting it on the spots whatever y'all see it's going on with no problems whatsoever but what i'm asking is the stuff that's going on the new part how can i carefully remove that part without it taking off the chrome from the smiley faces i have no idea somebody please let me know am i using a well i'm pretty sure i'm using the wrong thing to put the chrome on with i probably shouldn't be using transfer gel because I don't know, but I really don't know. I dusted them off, but of course, you know, it was still on there. And look at me. I'm trying to go around it to clean it off, and I end up messing up some of them. But help me in the comments, please. Of course, I'm using my Young Nails Mission Control in black. And I have it, you can see it really right there in the, in the corner. But I have it on one of my little palettes. You know, the little palettes you use to put polish on. I have it on that on the side because sometimes I like to mix mix it with regular black gel polish um, from Jelixer. Because it kind of helps it smooth out a little bit. Because those Mission Controls are very thick. So sometimes I don't like for it to be so thick because then it won't glide as easily as it's gliding right now. So yeah. And I'm using a little raggedy brush, y'all. I don't know where this brush from, but you can see it's leaning to one side. I just use this one because this is the only brush I have that's like of a medium length. Because I have my 25 millimeter, but that is way too long to be trying to outline some circles. Oh, do y'all ever feel like circles are so hard to outline with a brush? I be so stressed out trying to outline a circle with a brush, especially a perfect circle. Child, I be so stressed out, but I watch other videos of people doing it and they do it with ease. I always have to stop like how I'm doing, do a little bit, stop. 
do a little bit stop but it's easier with these because they're not perfect circles but whenever i try to do it with a perfect circle mm -mm. either the line is too thick or it just always end up giving me a hard time but i'm just doing the faces random y'all and also these wiggly lines are hard to do with a brush well with this little brush i'm trying to work with it's already leaning to one side child but some of them i made like regular smiley faces some of them i tried to do drips from them some of them i did just like little swiggly faces y'all know that emoji that's my favorite emoji yeah that little face and i think like some upside down sad faces really just did whatever this was was this was a really cute set i really liked it my client right here that i'm doing she always bring cute sets mm -hmm. so if i messed up doing the circle like how i just did right there normally i just turned it into a drip and just be like yeah i meant to do that mm -hmm. whole time i i didn't mean to do that but that's what you gotta do with nails honestly you just gotta fake it till you make it this is pretty much the end of the set y'all she wanted glossy top coat instead of matte and i honestly feel like they would have looked cute either way so oh that line was definitely too thick y'all see how thick that line was and am i finna go back and fix it no <laughs> But yeah, this is pretty much the end of the video. Um, I do have some spooky sets that I need to post. I just really need to edit them and do a voiceover for them. Really a voiceover. But yeah, thank you guys for watching to the end of this video. If y'all like this, please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to your girl. And then also make sure you read the description box because I do have some stuff in there that people be asking questions about in the comments. So I'll see y'all on the next one. But there's just one thing I need from you. Say I do. Because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, ain't gotta do nothing crazy.